Uh, Rich, welcome. Thank you very much indeed for taking some time. Now, this is a, a documentary-style film about Just Stop Oil, and as far as I understand it, you infiltrated them. I'm not sure if that's a difficult thing to do or not, but or you got in with them. Infiltrated might be might be a bit of a strong word, but it's a it's a behind the scenes look showing the the people in Just Stop Oil because we we hear a lot about the the so called eco mob, but I don't think we the public sees who these people really are, and also the kind of state crackdown that they've faced, this erosion of our civil civil liberties and and the right to protest. Um. Well, the, there's a right to protest, but not to get in front of me and say, you can't come down here. That's not a right. Most people do know who you are. Most of them, mm -hmm. well, assume they're posh people and some of the women have purple hair. I and mean, the rest are students. Is, we do know what they are. So what do you... What, well, you that your experience? Is that your experience? Are you with, with them or are you, are you independent just doing a documentary or are you believe in the, do you believe in the Just Stop Wheel? So you you kind of proven my point that for the need for this type of film that shows who mm. these people really are because this stereotype that they're well, all no, there's that a lot of seventy year old women. So tell me, tell, tell do, me, do you want me to? Would you be quiet? Talk to you just about the film or just listen, please, or interrupt? So, do you want to go too? Because you know I'm quite happy just to take phone calls. There's a guy who needs company on the way back to Manchester. Yeah, uh, two hundred miles. So have you made this film? which is uh, not finished yet because you've run out of money. Um, have you made this film, Everything is Fine? Have you made it to promote Just Stop Oil or have you made it to uh, change people's mind about Just Stop Oil? What have you done? I want people to make up their own minds, but I want them to have all the information. And before, what is the information they, you want they do them that. to have? So really, I'm holding up a mirror to what actually happens behind the scenes of these protests that... We, we hear so much about in the news. And so what why, happens why behind would, the scenes? Why would ordinarily law-abiding people, grandmothers, vicars, why would they get arrested for well, this Not many cause? of them are getting arrested. It, they feel it gives them, them a use well, that, well, that's, in that's life. The they point. feel it gives them some use in life at yeah. that age. They get a bit put and they... They've got money, they've paid their mortgage up, and they think, oh, oh, I'll do this for the kids. You know, it's sort of a virtue signalling type thing. Yeah. So that's another misconception which I, I will address in the film. So you said that well, tell not me. many of them get arrested. No, they over do. over about one hundred and fifty of them have been imprisoned so far. Good, that's and excellent. I've I filmed I'm people happy being, being sent to prison for yeah. marching down the road, and I think regardless of your view blocking on just stop oil blocking or the climate crisis, blocking cars, it's an issue of freedom people of speech. Getting you know, it's not. It's an issue. Your, your that you can free say what you want, yeah, and you can come on here and say what you want, but so can I. And the fact that a lot of people, and I think probably the majority of people don't agree with Just Stop Oil because people actually uh, get annoyed about them. The police didn't do anything about it because public opinion turned. The police had to do something about it. They had to arrest them. You can't just block a motorway and pretend I'm not doing anything violent, I'm not, I'm not committing a crime or anything. You know, it's just ridiculous. I don't think any of us... I thought you were making a movie just to explain what was in the minds of these people who do it. Exactly, but there's there's bigger issues at play. What you are know, they? I, I don't think anyone wants to live in a society where you get put in prison for walking down a road with a sign. Or, well, like, blocking you know, I'm, people, you could I'm, call it. And, I'm or a, you could I'm call a journalist. it killing people because the... I've been arrested person. three times. You're a journalist. I'm, I'm, arrest, I'm a filmmaker, yeah. I've been arrested three times. But anybody can times. be a filmmaker. All you need is a mobile phone. It's true, we're all filming. My, well, I my did camera's one before a the show. Bit, bit more, <laughs> you should see me the iPhone camera. The iPhone but, um, camera. You know, I've been arrested three times for just filming protests. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen if you ever want to protest and the police have these powers to just shut you down What do you mean you were arrested away? for filming? It can't be. What was the actual arrest for? Well, there's been, there's been several there's of them. There's only three but, times, so... So, for example, one time uh, when they were... Uh, protesting on the M25, I was on a public footbridge with Well, I know, there other... was actually... The, the police got a telling off for that, because that exactly, was ridiculous. Exactly, exactly. You know, that, well, that's yeah, the way that, that we're going. That was stupid of the police, that was. But we know, we do know about that. That was a big story. There was a, the other place radio station, a woman, it, it, was, it was terrible what happened to it, and there was a photographer, and the police had to apologise. So that's one, but what was the other one? Uh, so I, I filmed some of the, the iconic footage of the, the suit protest. The next day, the police just came and grabbed me on the street. Is it because just for, you just were, for filming it? 
But you had advanced. No, maybe it was for what? What did they? You were throwing you? soup at no, a no, work no, of art. I, I filmed, or you were filming. I filmed the but did you know it was going to happen? There was, that there could was, be. That could yeah, be. You're there obviously were, part of them, aren't you? You were going was, along there. They invited you along to make a film about it. You were just one of them. Is that what they arrested for? There were several right. other journalists there as well, and also, um, you know, when I was filming the M25 protest. Charlotte Lynch from LBC got arrested. That's right. Another I see what I was press about. photographer. Mm. I was That's what I just said. Is well, she part of Just Stop Oil? No, no, you're right. The police oh, no, behave. No. She might well be. behave badly. And is that, we know is that, that. Would that, that doesn't mean you're right though. Anyway? Just because we know the police behave badly a lot of the time. Well, well she worked for a channel, didn't she? But we actually knew that. So they filmed it. The whole point. The whole point of this is you. You've come on here to promote your movie because you've run out of money to make it, right? That's what you've come on to do. I, well, I got invited on here. Um, we invite thousands of people. They keep saying they were invited. Yeah. We don't. <laughs> people just you know, turn up. You ask they? people if they want to come on the show. If they come Did on... you just someone do that? I, I don't thought know. these people just walked I, in. I, I, I thought we sat here and people walked done. in. Yeah. So what, you know, I'm, I'm crowdfunding for this film because I think it's, it's really important that this story is told independently. And what do you think it'll free do? free from... People know from what you are. We already interest, knew it. I just told you interest. about your own film. I you mean, know, you are you against everybody that's successful? What would you... Listen, if you could do anything now to save the world in your view, all right, what would, what would you do tomorrow? If you were in government, what would you do? I think our media needs to no longer be controlled by a We're small amount of billionaires. We're not controlled. I can say anything I want, and quite often well, social media is not controlled. So I mean, I'm giving you the chance to say whatever you want. Now, go on. So here we talk, are. Talk TV is is run by you know is owned by Rupert Murdoch, right? It's yeah. one one man with such huge influence. Are you a complete nutter? Just are you really point. this stupid? I'm giving you the right on a on a program, right? My program to say your piece starring us. And you're scared. Why are you scared? <laughs> I'm asking you a question. I'm listening I'm to you. I'm asking you a question. If you were the prime minister or in charge now, what do you think needs to be done to save the world? What would you do immediately? All right, so I've already said we need to start telling the truth and have media that's so what not, is the not truth? under the influence of billionaires. I'm giving you the so chance. You're not even answering the no, question. So the, Physically, what have we got to do to the stop the world is, blowing up? Never mind the media. All right, all right, all right. The truth is that we're in a, a dire climate crisis. So what are we going to do about that? And we need to stop oil continuing business as usual with more and more fossil fuels you new oil no, new you've gas you've got no idea have you you've come in here to try and get a bit of plugging for your movie which is to promote just stop oil who are let's face it not really very popular and you're annoying anymore. people destroying paintings it doesn't help the and cause. you've got no answer so what do you want to do stop all cars and planes moving immediately because quite frankly apparently uh, that is going to ruin the world you want to change the way people live the way people eat what do you want to do i'm asking you you're in power you can do whatever you want and i've given you the freedom of the media to say this is what we should do say it the solution right so we need a world where people have enough to eat if we continue down this path with you carbon keep, emissions you see, you're, do, you're we're doing gonna, it again we're gonna what destroy you the do? living conditions no no we need listen to me to be able you're to not that food. stupid come on I'm asking you, if you had the power to do something about it, what would you do? What do you want to see the government or governments around the world doing? I want to see the truth about the climate crisis. What is the truth and about it? Tell me the truth. The truth is that we're hurtling towards a world of two, three degrees warming, where there's going to be vast swathes of the, the planet. Truth? That because unfortunately the climate changes all the time. Yeah, it was freezing last ways. week, wasn't it? I've watched your show before, and I know that you don't believe in, in man-made climate change, so I think... I do. No, no, no. Let me get this right. This is what I believe. And listen, I believe that climate is changed by very many things, including mankind. And whatever happens oh, to see, live on been, this there's planet... There's been some movements since I watched I your show that, previously. I said that, didn't you? I said that. I things that. are changing, you know. Even James's mind has been changed. I think changed. it's time you went. <laughs> I think it's time we took a break, because I'm bored, and you're not going to answer the question. The question is... What would you do? What should be the first thing? Here we are, we give you power. What should be the first thing that you do to help save the planet? Stop new oil and gas. Stop making the problem there worse. There you go. Yeah, we are. Well, that'll make it worse. Fine so answer. why don't you and your friends go and make some of this movie in China? 
or India yeah. or America. You wouldn't sit in the road you know, in China, would you? People bring that up a lot um, when these protests are unfolding in the streets. It's something I cover in the film, you know. We need to have this conversation. Yeah. Well, why why aren't people going to China? Well, because... This is our country. Why people want to protest why? against their government? But China is much more you know, worse. It's much worse for them. This is your. You hobby. have a bone to pick with the government. This is quite your often, right? Yeah, I do. So you, you, so you take it to them. I do. These but protesters I'm have a the bone chance. to pick with. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Democratic them. ballot box. Don't block people's lives. Just you, like we all have to. You have to. So I, I'm, I'm not a protester with just stop oil. I'm a filmmaker. So but you're on their side. You're not independent. I'm much more independent with. Telling, telling the truth about the climate crisis. Well, that's you're doing. You're just media. Media. No, hang on. Just... What you're saying is telling the truth, your truth, which isn't necessarily anybody else's truth. You know, the climate is changing. Eventually, mankind will not survive on this planet. Hopefully, it won't be too soon. But you know, you never know because as probably soon as the probably be planet, world war. It kills us. Possibly. Don't, probably. You, don't you think that's awful? I think it's terrible. Mankind might not survive. I, I think, how much suffering there's going to well, be? It's the way the don't world you, don't is. Don't you think we should do but something about that? There'll be nuclear warfare that does the that. The problem is you've not that's lived awful. through anything it's bad. Just, that's our you? children are going to have yeah. to face that. I haven't had any children. Like, let's let's do something reason. about it. Yeah. What are you going to do when the government asks you to go along to the recruiting office because we bring back conscription? What are you going to do? Conscription. I don't think we're going to bring back conscription. No, but if we do... We want you. <laughs> what am I going to do? That's a completely hypothetical situation. Yeah, what are you going to do it if they do? Would you what... fight to defend this country? From I what? mean, you're prepared to film people and the sit enemy. down. Anybody who wants to actually invade this country, and there may well in the future be somebody who does. Well, that's going to be completely dependent on the situation, what I do. There's an enormous amount of wars going yeah. on in this country which are probably more detrimental to the climate than whether we use oil or gas. Yeah, there's a lot more pressing issues. I think whether, you know, the survival of humankind is quite a pressing issue. Whether well, we can, that is the survival of mankind. Whether we can mankind, continue to wars. grow food to survive is a quite a yeah. pressing issue. Well, I think we still seem to be doing that. You want us to all eat insects, don't you? Do you want no. us to eat insects? That's what they want I, us to do. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I mean... That's what's coming. What do you want us to eat? What do, you brought me on here to talk about? You don't know, not, do you? About, you not don't about know what you're going to eat. You, want, you keep what, saying what we're going to eat. Yeah. Yeah. What should we eat? I brought you on here. Well, I didn't actually. I brought you on here because I was told that you're a, a young guy making this movie to tell the real story uh, of Just Stop, Stop Oil. But what you're basically doing is making a movie to promote them, and. So I you mean, are, James, you, have, you, you are, haven't seen the film yet. You, you're making a bit of an assumption now. I've, see, I've seen the And trail. I think, you know, you're, 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 you're interested in, in Just Stop Oil and with, with climate activists. I think you'd be interested to see, you know, the motivations of these people, what, what they're really like. I think I know. I've Whether you agree many with them or not, fight, I've watch the film, make up your own mind. I've I just want to give people the opportunity. Lots of them. And they basically, once you get down to the nitty-gritty, they're having a bit of a laugh because they're causing a bit of trouble. They're making a name for themselves, some of them, which is why they come on these programmes. But they're not really doing anything or have any idea how to help the country in the future. Getting rid of gas and oil and going all electric isn't going to work. I, it's I, not going to work. Net zero won't happen. I, I don't know what you like to do on your days off, but... Marching down the road and getting sent to prison for it isn't really yeah. anyone's people idea have, of fun. People have done that so since I, I don't the think, Vietnam War. I don't think the argument that they're doing it just I because think, it's a nice I day out really, really holds up. I think they're doing it because they get brainwashed into thinking they're doing something. But, you know, how it's many It's like a youth times? culture. It's a new, you know, gothic, isn't it? It's mm. like being, you know... It's but anyway, to do. 